So today's been a bit of an interesting day. I uh, went to the photo parlour this morning and took in a, a negative which I want to get printed. Um, Dan is a really cool cat, I'll show you some of the uh, behind the scenes footage. Um, it was actually the shot I did on the Pentax and something that I did myself the other day which was develop this print but I've actually taken this into um, the photo parlour because I want to get this done in a large print so uh, that's going to take about a week um, and it's going to be something that I can stick behind me so you guys can see it but uh, I quite like the negative and uh, I just wanted to get a print done but uh, also what I've done is booked on to um, Dan's workshop which is a, a dark room workshop so uh, looking forward to that that's in November um, I might actually ask him if I can uh, film it so uh, be interesting to see me um, learning to print properly and learning some techniques off Dan so bonus on that one so out today again with my friend Lee all right, and uh, we're off to uh, the photo parlor to uh, get something uh, printed out. I know I'm uh, just going to learn to do uh, printing, but uh, I thought Dan's a bit of a master, so one of my uh, negatives, I want to actually get it printed properly. And I've also booked on one of his uh, workshops, so I'm here to talk to him about that as well. So come with me and uh, we'll go and visit Dan. All the detailing it highlights in the shadows, that's yeah. that's the aim. And mm -hmm. not so contrasty that it, it's destructive, okay. if, that, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, well, what I did is, um, it was a really weird day. I've got, you got a filter on there, no, no camera? No. no. Just F8 uh, on the on uh, FP4. Right. Um, but it was a really strange day, it was like, it was like this. Threatening to rain. Yeah, and I was like, favourite type of weather. But I thought, mm. yeah. <laughs> so I went down to the house, I walked down to it, and I set up and I went down with the camera and I was like, it. and then I set up with my camera. Obviously, the 6 7 was in it, with only having the 1 in 5 lens. Yeah. And it wasn't wide enough, so I had to really step back as far as I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I was ready to take the picture, and the sun came out. And I took all ten exposures. Yeah. I got back in the car and it pissed it down. How weird is that? It's bizarre. black and there was no contrast mm -hmm. it was like the whites were muddy so I don't know whether that was like it wasn't printed long enough because I'd learned by the time it I'd will done this probably one, be that, that yeah I, so yeah today's been a pretty good day bumped into a few friends met uh, my friend Lee and Noah and uh, Gary we went for a bit of a walk around town and a bit of a coffee and a catch-up so that was pretty cool and then I went around and um, did some more of my project which is photographing the streets of Nottingham and 
this is for two things really one to get me out shooting to get me back into the swing of things but also um, I've looked at some old photographs of Nottingham and uh, noticed that it's changing quite a lot and we have a few buildings like the uh, car parks being knocked down and some of the buildings being renovated so I thought I'd uh, do a project where I go around and capture it um, today I shot with the uh, Canon 6D so digital but uh, doesn't really matter it's just going out and documenting the streets and uh, capturing things as they change this might be an ongoing project where I uh, do quite a bit of it but uh, yeah I just thought I'd get out and uh, start shooting and get my creative juices back so one thing I did find a bit difficult today was um, actually shooting and vlogging um, I started out pretty well uh, vlogged that I was at the photo parlor but as I was walking around town I still feel a little self-conscious so I kind of gave up on the, the vlogging part so yeah um, I need to this is something else that I need to work on because obviously it's nice to document and if I do more for this YouTube channel um, it'd be cool to show some behind the scenes of where I was and what I was doing but uh, yeah um, I don't know what other people you know fine but when I'm actually out shooting um, my mind and my headspace is actually on the shoot and so I forget to vlog and I forget to picture for Instagram and so <laughs> I kind of like get raveled in the the process of actually shooting and what I'm doing and uh, I find yeah the, the actual video part quite uh, quite a challenge or not necessarily a challenge again well yeah it is a challenge because I, I'm actually self-conscious about it but um, also yeah I kind of forget to video and uh, then I go like why didn't I just vlog that bit or why didn't I just record what I was doing and show you know where I was but uh, I don't know uh, if this is something that other people uh, struggle with but it's definitely something that I struggle with. So the other thing I want to talk about is this new uh, Polaroid. I, um, like many people I guess, I got excited when I saw on the website that uh, Polaroid were releasing something special and uh, wow we had to wait and see and there was a countdown clock so I was really expecting something exciting and uh, I was hoping for something along the lines of the uh, SX70 where you've got control over focus and it's more than just a plastic lens but uh, unfortunately uh, what we got was a reincarnation of one of these which is the uh, Polaroid LAN camera but minus the uh, eyepiece so it looks pretty much the same as this um, and yeah they're charging us $99 for it or I don't know what it's going to be in the UK but I got this for £3 on a car boot, so I think I'm going to be sticking with this one rather than spending $99 on something that is exactly the same, plastic lens and whatever. But um, while I was out, I did actually uh, pick up their new film for the uh, SX70, so uh, I'm interested to see that. And one good thing about it is the price. This is, um, I think it was £17.99. It might even be less than that, but yeah, 17 quid. Um, and I also picked up some Impossible Project. I don't know if you can see the price on that of £22.99. So yeah, quite an expensive piece of film, that, for eight shots. But I'm not bothered because this one is actually going out in a package with this camera to one of you guys, Dean this with the film is on its way to you so yeah I don't know what your guys thoughts are on the new Polaroid camera but uh, I'm interested to shoot this film in the SX70 tomorrow I have a shoot planned so I'm going to be shooting uh, a lot of film tomorrow I'm going to be shooting the Pentax 6.7 and the 
FM2N and the SX70. Um, I'm actually going to shoot some digital as well. I like to shoot digital as a bit of a backup, but also because um, it's a model shoot, I actually give uh, the model the images off the digital. So yeah, looking forward to that and uh, looking forward to definitely getting my print back and going on the workshop with Dan.